Good Tuesday morning and thanks for logging on to your Aggie Land Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Natalie Ferrari and we can finally take a breather, just relax from yesterday's rain event where it easily dumped anywhere from three to five inches across the Brazos Valley. A few isolated areas did actually reach near six inches in accumulated rainfall totals. This is both from Sunday and through Monday as well. Now even though a few folks did start to see a few scattered showers move on through late Saturday night into Sunday, this is the 48, 48 hour our rainfall total again ever since Sunday morning. So this just get, paints a pretty good generic picture of where the heaviest rainfall was able to make its way through and just how much rain, substantial rain, we saw here in the Brazos Valley. As we get ready for today though, this morning temperature is right at 50 degrees for the majority of us. That's exactly where we should be for this time of year for the morning hours. So that is pretty seasonable for March right now. Winds coming in out of the northwest about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that will keep us on the cool side. And you can see that large system moving out towards the east that brought all that rain here yesterday and the day before. It does continue to move out of the area. So that means today we're actually going to dry out. But look at that cloud cover continuing to filter on in behind it. That means we will still see more clouds than not throughout today. If we're lucky, we could actually look for a few peaks of sunshine by the late afternoon. Daytime highs trying to climb their way near the lower 60s. Overnight into your Wednesday morning forecast, we will look for very similar conditions to what we're dealing with this morning, where we will have mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures ranging anywhere from the upper 40s to the north, lower 50s to the south. Again, a pretty seasonable start. And if anything, daytime highs will try to make their way up, I think more so to the 70s for our southern counties, whereas the rest of us could actually have around the mid to upper 60s tomorrow. Upper 60s to lower 70s, right where we should be for this time of year, and but I don't think we'll actually see those seasonable daytime highs until we make our way closer to the end of the week. For today, we're aiming for the lower 60s, cloudy skies, and again, if we are lucky, we could actually see a few peaks of sunshine trying to break through that cloud cover by the late afternoon hours. Slightly breezy conditions tomorrow will still keep things on the cool side, trying to make our way near that seasonable average, but there you see those 70s making a comeback by the end of the week and into the weekend. So yesterday's rain event was just a small price to pay for an absolutely beautiful forecast ahead where we were trying to gear more towards average and look for some of that sunshine and warm us up nicely just in time for your upcoming weekend. Thanks again for logging on.